a certain man of Zora named Manoah <clears throat> from the clan of the Danite, a wife who was childless, unable to give birth. The angel of the Lord appeared to her. The angel of the Lord appeared to her and he said, You are barren and childless, but you are going to become pregnant and give birth to a son. Now see to it that you drink no wine <clears throat> or other fermented drink and that you do not eat anything unclean. You will become pregnant and have a son whose head is never to be touched by a razor because the boy is to be a Nazarite or a Nazarite dedicated to God. From whom he will take the lead in delivering Israel from the hands of the Philistines. Activating divine encounter. Judges 13. <clears throat> we have read verse 2 to verse 5. I want us to see how we can position ourselves eh, to experience this kind of an encounter. <clears throat> And this angel of the Lord appeared twice. First, the angel appeared to Manoah's wife. And secondly, the angel appeared to Manoah's wife for Manoah. And if you look, the intric intricates or oh. when you look at the dynamics of this encounter with the divinity which here is referred as the angel of the lord this encounter when it took place or when it happened the sterility the barrenness, the unfruitfulness, the unproductivity in this family expired. Mm -hmm. I keep on telling you, there is no way you can have an encounter with God and that encounter leaves you the same way. Unless Something is seriously wrong with you. The angel appears to Manoah's wife and he tells her, you are going to be a child. And these are the terms and conditions of that pregnancy. So, impact, <clears throat> the major impact of this encounter is if you have this kind of an encounter, you are, you are, you are spirit of barrenness and fruitfulness and productivity, ineffectiveness, nothingness, worthlessness, futility, vanity expires. And there, it doesn't continue beyond that encounter. From that moment of that encounter, you become fertile. You become empowered. You become enabled. You become equipped. You become energized. You be, you, you you become you, you you get repaired by God. There is no way she could remain barren. But the question is this. And the issue we are keeping on in insisting on is positioning. Because where was a woman? Yeah. <clears throat> where was the woman? I would like us to discuss number one is why did the angel appear to the Manoah's wife instead of Manoah? Mm -hmm. Because there is something hidden in this woman. 
if we can look at it, then the woman went to her husband and told him, a man of God came to me. He looked like an angel of God, very awesome. I didn't ask him where he came from, and he didn't tell me his name, but he said it to me. Key number one, we are seeing that was very strong for this woman to experience the encounter in the state of Manoa is, number one, submissiveness. By her going to report to her husband, it shows us she was living with her husband, but submitting to him. Submission, very important. God does not appear to self independent. He appears to the submissive. <clears throat> Number two, where was she? That is very important. We can read, before we, I define where she was, she, but number one we are seeing from the Manoah's wife, we are seeing the, the quality of submission. Respecting her husband. Hum, hum, humbling herself before her husband. But number two, then Manoah prayed to the Lord, we are in verse 8, pardon your servant Lord, that is humility, your servant, humility. I beg you to let the man of God you sent to us again, Come again to teach us how to bring us the, to bring up the boy who is to be born. God had Manoah, and the age of God came again to the woman while she was out in the field. But her husband Manoah was not with her. So the next point is prayers. The next time the angel appeared to the wife was as a result of Manoah's prayer. Manoah's prayer. So for us to, to experience an encounter with God, we must be prayerful. We must be prayerful. Number two, the purpose of God. If you read the verse we just read in around the verse 5b, he said, the last part, he will take the lead in delivering Israel from the hands of the Philistines. So the major reason for this angel to appear was for the purpose of God, the purpose of the ministry of deliverance from the hands of Philistines. So purpose attracts that it will be done here on earth as it is being done in heaven. Purpose is, and if you know how to position yourself in the purposes of God, when you know how to align yourself with the purposes of God, God will reveal himself because he revealed himself to make you understand better how to do the agenda of God. So three points. Number one, submission. Number two, purpose. Number three, prayers. Number four, the Bible says the woman was out there in the field alone. Separation. Separation. She was out in the field, but her husband Manoah was not with her. And that is the reason why even the first time the angel appeared, she was alone. For God to appear to us, we have to, 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 to observe the factor of separation. And let me tell you, read throughout the whole Bible, all the people that God revealed himself to, they were not in, they were not in the midst of the crown. They were set apart. They were always separated. So the angel appeared and the woman hurried to call her husband. Those four important points are very, very, very strong. When we observe them, we are likely going to encounter the divinity as Manoah's wife. And when we encounter divinity, our barrenness expires at that moment and we start becoming fruitful. She gave birth to Samson and also to Samson's brothers. There were some others who were born after Samson. That is number one, separation. Number two, submission. Number three, prayers. Number four, uh, what else do we say? We said four points. Them to put together, God reveals himself to us.
May God reveal himself to us in Jesus' name.